Hello, book folding friends. Elizabeth Gale here. Welcome in and thank you for joining me. Our book folding pattern of the month for April is The Cross. This is the book that I folded from the pattern. The cross symbolizes the sacrifice of Jesus Christ for our sins and his infinite love and mercy for each one of us. You can fold this holy reminder to celebrate Easter or any other special day. The cross also makes a thoughtful gift for a friend or loved one, especially if they are going through a difficult time. Let's take a look at the pattern. I'll put a link in the description to my shop online where you can get the cross pattern. It comes as a digital file in PDF format. You download it to your computer, then after you download it, you print it out. So I've got the pattern printed out here. When you order the cross pattern, you'll also receive a free PDF file of my ebook. It's called Traditional Book Folding, a step-by-step -step illustrated guide. If you're a beginner, this how-to guide is perfect for you. It's 68 pages long, and it has lots of clear photos in it that you can follow. You'll learn everything you need to know about traditional book folding from start to finish, like the proper tools, how to select a book, how to calculate your start page, and a lot more. With my simple method, you'll soon be making beautiful book art, even if you've never before folded a book. The guide also has three patterns in it for you to fold. There's a cute rabbit, a fun ice skate, and a sweet petite heart. To go straight to the patterns, you'll open the PDF of the guide after you download it, and then you'll scroll down to page 55. That's where the patterns begin. And remember that you get the how-to guide with the three bonus patterns in it completely for free, along with your order of the cross pattern. So let's look back at that. This cover page gives you specific information about the project. If you look right here, you'll see that the method you'll be using is the traditional measure, mark, and fold method. There is no cutting required, only folding. Next, you'll see the number of folds is 150, which is 300 numbered pages. And as a quick refresher, remember that in book folding, a fold with a capital F is a single sheet of paper in a book. It's a single sheet that is numbered on both sides. For example, in our sample book here, we've got a page in a book. And this single sheet of paper in book folding is a fold. And of course, it's numbered on both sides. So one fold equals two numbered pages because each fold or sheet of paper is numbered on both sides. So if we look back at our pattern, you can see that's why this number is doubled here. 150 folds or sheets of paper equals 300 numbered pages. So the pattern is telling us we need to find a book that has at least 300 numbered pages in it so that the cross will fit into that book. If we look at the next line, you'll see the height of the book you'll need is at least 22 centimeters. And when I say 22 centimeters, I'm talking about the cover of a book, not the pages inside. A book's pages are always shorter than its covers. You can use a book that's taller than 22 centimeters. This book that I folded is, let's see, it's a little over 24 centimeters. So if your book is over 22 centimeters tall, that's fine. The cross will still look good. Let's go to the next page of the pattern. You can see that it's the typical table of measurements that you'll be working through where one line in the pattern equals one page in your book. If we look at fold number one, you see it has a first measurement of 8.6 centimeters and a second measurement of 9.2 centimeters. Then the pattern continues all the way up through fold number 150 right there, which repeats the measurements of fold number one, 8.6 and 9.2 centimeters. Let's go back to the first page. 
And let's do these first five folds together. We'll measure mark and fold them and that'll get you off to a good start and you'll be able to see how the cross begins. I've got my book here ready to go along with the pattern and I like to put a piece of elastic around the book to hold down the pages that I'm not marking and folding. Just acts as a third hand to help keep them out of the way. And for measuring and marking, I'm going to use my INCRA ruler. I've used this ruler for many years for book folding and I just love it. The best thing about it is this red T-bar at the top here. And what that does is it sits up against the top edge of your paper and puts the zero at the same place on every page that you're marking. So your folds stay nice and straight and even and makes them look very professional. So that's why I love to use this INCRA ruler. I'll put a link to it in the description. If you're interested in it, you can just click on that and find out more about it. For fold number one, we have measurements of 8.6 and 9.2 centimeters. So let's mark those. And this INCRA ruler has slots on it. I can see the paper through the slots and the pencil just drops down right into those slots. So let's mark 8.6 and 9.2. I like to check that off as I work. And you can see the two marks there. I'll tuck that under and go on to fold number two, which has measurements of 8.4 and 9.4. Let's mark that. Eight point four. Nine point four. For fold number three, measurements of eight point two and nine point six. Eight point two, nine point six. Tuck that under and for fold number four, got eight point two again and nine point seven. Mark that. For fold number five, we have measurements of 8.1 and 9.8. You .1, 9.8. We finished marking folds one through five, so now let's go back and fold those. For folding, I like to use this thin metal ruler made by Westcott. It's nice and flexible, and it's got cork on the back so it won't slip. So this is what I use for folding. And I put one edge up against the spine of the book, and I place the opposite edge on the mark. So we're doing fold number one. We'll do the top measurement of 8.6. Fold that. And I like to use a bone folder to give me a nice sharp crease on the paper. And again, put the edge of the ruler against the spine and the opposite edge on the mark. So that's measurement 9.2. Measurements of 8.4 and 9.4. And 
Fold number three, measurements of 8.2, 9.6. Fold number four, measurements of 8.2 and 9.7. like to use a different folding method instead of putting the ruler up against the spine that is perfectly fine the finished cross will look the same on the edges of the pages no matter which folding method you use I just prefer to use this method it works best for me but there's really no right or wrong way to book fold you just use whichever method you prefer Whichever one works best for you. Okay, we have finished folds one through five of the cross. And it's those first five folds right here. One, two, three, four. Five, right there that's the part we just finished and you'll just keep working on through the pattern which will be fold number 150 right there with measurements of 8.6 and 9.2 and it's those last little fold right here that will be your final fold and then you'll have your finished cross design. Here's an important tip. When you have finished folding the cross, the ends of the vertical bar at the top are going to be narrow and skinny, and we want them to be flared out into this nice scalloped shape. So to get this into a scallop shape, just lay the book open like this, and then use your fingers on those folds right at the top and the bottom of the paper and just gently take it page by page and curl the paper out away from the center of the cross out towards the covers like this. Just gonna go a page at a time and start curling that paper and just do it gently but firmly and the paper will just gradually start to curl and you just keep working your way through like that and you could even let the paper warm up in your fingers a little bit and just go through gradually and you may need to do it a few times to get it to stay like you want it and then you'll get that nice uh, scalloped shape at the top and so when you've done the top you just turn the book around and you do the same thing on folds that are at the bottom of the cross so you're going to start on each side just curl it back like that gently but firmly and you'll have your nice scallop shape. And then you'll just turn it back around. And just work with the paper until you're happy with it. You're wanting the top and bottom here to be proportionate in scale and size to the sides of the cross here. So just work with that until it looks good and you're happy with it. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you'll pick up the cross pattern and give it a try. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and give me a like. That really helps me out. And if you're brand new to book folding, I've made a video just for you here on my channel that teaches you all the steps of book folding from start to finish. You'll learn about the tools you need, how to pick out a book, how to calculate your start page, everything you need to know. 
and I'll put a link to that video right here on the screen at the end of this one. So you can just click on that and watch it next. God bless you, and thanks for watching.